as we all know, there is a lot of discontent in the world. I need to stop watching less YouTube. I cut out the news, but I'm still on YouTube and every so often I watch something that makes me think, ugh. But, I do often think that, has much really changed? When you look back through history, we have always had, and I'm talking about how people are always complaining about how, how much worse everything is now. How everything is going to the dogs, how everything is going downhill. And I guess most of us look at it from our own perspective. So we'll only, our barometer will be our life. You know, how things have changed since our childhood. But when you look back in history, I don't think that that much has changed. I think that what has mostly changed is science and technology and that we are more aware of what goes on elsewhere because of iPhones and TV channels and whatever and we're just more aware of what goes on and that we somehow think that because we are modern people then we must be better but history we have always had chronic poverty we have always had big companies screwing over the little man we've always had people living on wages that don't pay for their basic bills we have always had uh, people being abused and all sorts, all the dreadful things that you hear that happen to children and women and minorities. We've always had all those things. You know, the 70s and 80s were the, the height of serial killers. And look at how many of our beloved celebrities have been found out as abusers. My God, there's so many of them. And at least we don't hide it anymore. That's one good thing. At least people feel more able to call things out now. But, you know, We've always had the big class gaps. Money has always been a problem. Housing has always been a problem. Politicians have always feathered their own nests and have no grasp on reality for most normal people and don't understand what it's like to try and live on. Uh, I mean, okay, so maybe things like benefits have helped, have improved poverty because there was a time when if you didn't have a job you just starved to death in the street. We've always had food banks, they used to be soup kitchens and they were always inundated with people needing help. So I don't think that humans have changed that much. We are still just as divisive and we've always had that pack mentality. We have always looked down on people who are worse than us. We have always criticised immigration. Because we've always had immigration. And we've always had people who have blamed immigrants for all the problems. We have always had lots of people unemployed. We have always had mental health issues. You know, I can, I can name several people off the top of my head let's just let this ambulance through I, I could name off the top of my head three members of three people in my family tree who have committed the S word and none of these things there have always been children who didn't do well at school always been troublemakers always been people who 
clearly had issues but it was never diagnosed and that's just because things have changed so much I mean it seems like everybody has a mental health problem these days and maybe we always have <laughs> I don't know it's just <sighs> So I look at a lot of things we complain about now, and if you if you know enough about history, and particularly where, like, I do a lot of genealogy, so I'm always looking at things like that, and I'm interested in, you know, the progression of families and seeing how people change. You know, when I go back to, say, the 1820s, 1830s in my family, there were lots of people living on very hand-to-mouth existences probably in pretty dire situations and just trying to survive day to day and if you were working class or in agriculture or anything like that and you were at the bottom of the pack that was your life and it was hard and then people progressed up into they moved where well, a whole chunk of family who went from agriculture and moved to the docks and became dockers and engineers and and people like that and then you have the industrial revolutions and we complain about climate change now but you know we, we've we've been polluting the planet for centuries um, uh, we actually have I don't know you could say in some aspects less pollution now than we used to have and a lot of the things or some of the things that we are now trying to implement to stop climate change are probably going to be just as damaging in the long term like electric cars, car batteries, lithium, all this sort of thing. Everything that is supposed to be sustainable and green has has its downside. Nothing is ever truly sustainable. It's a stupid word. But yeah, so I look at all the, you know, we, we, everything we complain about now and these are things that have always been there. They're things that we've always had to deal with as human beings. And for some reason we think because we now have iPhones and we drive cars that somehow we're better. And we're not really. We're not better. We are the same creatures at heart. We are still pack animals. We are still self-serving. We are still you know, if you can screw someone over for a dollar, you will. Not everybody, of course not, but a lot of people. A lot of industry, anything that's profit-driven, will do anything to put its profits first. There's just so much, and you need to look at the broader picture to understand that we're still dealing with the same cyclical problems that we've always dealt with. It's just we're doing it in a different way now. We're able to complain about it more. We have more options to speak out. But that doesn't change anything. Because none of the things that need changing ever change. And they're run by people. So, I thought I'd get that out there. Like, what I say actually matters. <laughs> <laughs> it clearly doesn't. I mean, there are people yabbing on like me all the time, and we don't change anything. But I thought I'd um, shove my two pennies in because I'm a YouTube channel, and that's what we do. Right, parking. Oh, look, I can get on the end of this. Yay. So yeah, so this is Wednesday morning. This is me going to my Wednesday clean. Not really in the mood for it at all. Uh, my sleep patterns are all over the joint. And whatever. Anyway, so I'm here. As usual, I'm too early. Uh, yeah. Oh man, not with it at all. I'm looking, for, looking forward to this afternoon when all this is over and I can just go home. It's so one of those days where I'm oh, just not really with it.
Tot je later.